Hey guys, it's Scott here and welcome finally to my setup video slash room tour, whatever you want to call it. Hopefully you do enjoy it. If you do, hit the thumbs up button down below and subscribe if you are brand new as well, if you want to see daily streams and videos. So, this is going to be everything that you've been asking for for a very long time. And this is going to be, I guess, part one of two, because there will be another video coming out very shortly of how I stream, record, edit my videos, etc. Because I know a lot of people are always interested in what software I use, what equipment do you need in order to stream and stuff like that. So, that's that out the way. Hopefully you enjoy it. We're going to hopefully go over everything. And if I do miss anything, which hopefully I won't, I'll put it in the comment section down below. If you have any questions, then let me know and I'll do my best to answer them all. So, first things first. Here is the setup, right? But first, let's go over the whole room. So if you don't know, then uh, here's my door. A lot of people say, oh, your room's tiny, right? It's fine, right? We've got space for our double bed. We've got all our clothes and everything like that. Um, this is the setup of dreams because now, even though I've not put the new quilt cover on, um, we have the dream setup so that when we're in bed, we can have our laptop on there. We've also got my old TV that has now been replaced by a new monitor, which I'll show you in a bit. With my switch set up, uh, as you can see on the left, and then the Wii on the right has made a comeback. Um, again, I've got my laptop hooked up so that if I want to watch any YouTube or anything, then I can have it showing on the TV, which is sick. And we've also got the good old 3DSs in case we want to play a few games in bed. But yeah, this is a really nice setup to have because when I just want to chill after a day of streaming or whatever, then we are all good. So... Um, next up, we've got the stuff over here, the good old Ibanez guitar and amp and everything like that. The ukulele of dreams. We've got our Juggernog fridge still from, what was that, Black Ops 3 days. A lot of people always ask about my headphones. These are HyperX headphones. And I'll try and leave as many links in the description to the products and everything that I use that I can, okay? I'll do my best. So before we get on to the actual rest of the setup, we got a load of stuff up here. Again, more old Black Ops stuff, stuff from holidays, etc. El Pika's sombrero that doesn't fit on him anymore. Uh, old consoles and everything like that. The Duck family as well as a load of old PS, uh, PS2 games there. El Pika the hero, Craig the duck. We got Koala and a uh, cow that we don't have names for. A load of other old games and stuff like that. So... Um, all my GameCube games and everything are behind there. We got the ball signed by Messi. That's never going anywhere. Uh, a load of PSP games back there. PS1 games up here. We've got DS games here. Uh, we've got a load of books. These are actually the next set of books that I want to read. I've never watched or read Lord of the Rings, so I need to do that. What else have we got? Well, we've got our whiteboard, the dream, that we use to try and create... Uh, highlights and timestamps for our streams and everything like that. We've got a load of old Xbox 360 games and all of that stuff. Uh, and then some other bits and bobs down here. Quickly show you what's in here. We have got a bit of a mess, to be honest. But I've got my 3DS and Nintendo Switch games in there as well. And then at the bottom, oh, these drawers do not want to open. Well, this is great. There we go. So we've got some Nintendo 64 stuff in here. We've got an old PSP. We've got my old DSs and Game Boys in here and everything like that. Everything you could ever want. So that's everything else. Now the setup, right? So this is everything. We've got two, uh, two monitors that are connected to my PC. So uh, you can see right here. These two, let me get rid of Premiere Pro for you right there. These two are my PC monitors, and as you can see, these are Acer monitors. These are 27-inch, had them for, whew, I don't even know at this point, maybe a year, year and a half. They are very, very solid, and they are hooked up to the PC, which we'll get into in a minute, that monster down there. Now, this video is sponsored by BenQ. So massive, massive thank you to them as they have very kindly given me a review product, as you can see right here, for the XL2411P 20... <coughs> monitor. This is their latest uh, gaming monitor, as you can see up here, the XL2411P. And honestly, 
Uh, I've been told to be as brutally honest as I want in all of the reviews of the stuff that they have given me. And I have to say, this is fantastic. And as you saw before, that TV is what was in my setup for years. Honestly, like 10 years. <laughs> so to finally change it to a monitor that is specifically built for gaming, I honestly didn't know if I would notice much difference. But there are two big, big differences, especially on a game like PUBG that you can see I'm on right now. The colours and the vibrancy are incredible, but also the little, tiny, tiny, tiny difference in response time is huge. And I have definitely noticed that on PUBG, on Fortnite, on COD, etc. And so massive shout out to BenQ for that, because this is sick. And it really, really fits into the setup. We now no longer have two screens and then a massive TV. It's really, really clean in the setup. And I am massively, massively grateful for them uh, sending me one of these to test out. So big shout out to BenQ. Your product is amazing. I will leave a link to it in the description if you would like to get one yourself. Honestly, I've played on mates monitors as well as TVs. And this is easily the best one that I have used. I would highly, highly recommend. On top of this, we have got one of two Logitech webcams. I've had this one for a very long time, and then I very recently bought this one. It's basically the same, just a slightly newer model. It's like the C920, and these are perfect. Ideally, in the future, I would like to upgrade to like SLR or DSLR cameras and have cam links set up to them, but right now, that is our current setup. Over here, we have our mic uh, on the boom. Uh, the mic is a Blue Yeti. And it is sick. Again, I've had that for quite a long time now, and I really, really rate it. I would highly, highly advise going for something such as a Blue Yeti if you are getting into streaming, because it's that step up from just a, a bang average microphone, but without having to spend hundreds and hundreds of pounds to get a fully, like, podcast level professional microphone. So, very high ratings for this thing. Now, we also have two Elgato key lights. Now these have massively, massively upped my setup and these are connected via my stream deck. Now these are amazing as well. Absolutely incredible. If you are streaming, you may not think that you need one. Trust me, you do, right? I haven't fully got mine set up yet because I reinstalled it uh, when I was setting up my new PC. And so I need to set up my scenes and everything on here. But there are so many things you can do with it, not even just in your streaming software. You can have it, for example, if you randomly open a load of different pieces of software, you can have buttons on here to just do it instantly, take you a certain website, etc, etc. But if we press the old lights uh, button here, you can see the key lights light up. And if I turn off my actual room light, then you can see that it doesn't make any difference in this portion of the room. Obviously over here, it's uh, it's a lot darker than it was, but these provide the perfect setup. So the Elgato key lights are incredible. Now, we also have the Xbox One, of course, with external storage. So I actually have space for games that are nowadays like 100 gigabytes. Uh, down here, we've got our PS4 as well, which obviously we switch between using our Elgato HD60. And now, the beast. But first, we also have more stuff from BenQ. I will go into this in more detail in my secondary video, uh, which again will be out very shortly, of me setting up my streams and everything like that. But if you are interested in any of these, I switched from this Razer mouse to this uh, BenQ mouse, which is uh, the EC2B. And honestly, it's sick. <laughs> um, I don't know what it is. I think it's the ergonomics of the uh, the design of it, but it really, really suits my hand. You can get smaller ones, like the uh, EC1 series compared to the EC2 is slightly smaller. So if your hands are smaller, BenQ have got you sorted for basically everything. We've also got this mouse mat as well uh, from them, which is nice and huge. I like it a lot. And then we've got the... <clears throat> Celer uh, oops, we have got the Celeritas 2 keyboard, which 
is what I now have in my setup. I replaced my old Microsoft Sidewinder keyboard and I like this a lot. Very, very nice. Um, has a good feel to it, like the keys feel better than my old keyboard. That may be because that was old, but still, solid, solid keyboard. So again, thank you very, very much to BenQ for offering me the chance to use these products. I really do appreciate it. So, the main last part of the setup, we've got two. We're not getting to the PC just yet because we've got one more thing. The green screen. Now, this is an interesting setup. We, it's like me and my dad set this up and it took us quite a while to figure out how we were gonna do it. So we've basically drilled in this basically curtain pole into the wall and now we've got the green screen hanging down from it. And what the beautiful part about this Elgato green screen is, this is the MT one, is that like it's not in the way, right? And then whenever I wanna use it, all you literally do, pull down here, get that down to the floor and then there we go. Our green screen is set up, it's big, um, and it's just perfect. Like, honestly, this is exactly what I've wanted for a very long time, because the pain of a green screen is setting it up, putting it away and everything like this. But as you can see, look how easy the Elgato one is to use. So that's pretty damn awesome. So this is our setup. We have a bootleg chair right now, so I'm not really going to get into that. It used to be an Elgato gaming uh, Elgato, no, not an Elgato, GT Omega racing chair, but as you can see, it's then put into a deck chair, so if any chair companies want to sponsor me, that'd be great. But here we go, the PC, the absolute monster that is my new PC. It is incredible. It cost a lot, uh, but I will put all the specs of it in the description for those that are interested. We've got a Ryzen 9. 3900X CPU, which is basically the best for streaming and content creation, everything like that. We've got a 2080, as you can see, GeForce RTX graphics card. We've got 64 gig of Corsair RAM, which is mad. And we also have the built-in Elgato HD60. And that is the reason why it's so easy for me to be able to stream now, because I plug my stuff directly into the capture card rather than having an external one like this that I had before this is the way forward the HD60 Pro so again I will leave all the specs in the description but I will also put them on the screen right now for you so that you can see them all and I will try and link every single product that I can in the description of the video but hopefully you did enjoy this this is what it looks like from where I'm sitting when I'm streaming, it's not bad, is it? It's not bad at all. So yeah, that's my setup video. I promised you it was coming. It's taken a little while, but hopefully it was worth it because now you can see everything and how my streams are set up. So thank you very, very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit the thumbs up, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you tomorrow. Goodbye.